Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, hope you're having an awesome day. In today's video, we'll be focused on all the users for Windows 11. I found a neat little application, script, whatever you want to call it, which will basically clean up your Windows 11 installation and make it your own, kind of like the bloat script for Windows 10, however it is made like an application. Just type in this is Windows 11, let's make this on a bigger screen and it is going to be a little further down the results, currently it is not the first one, but we are looking for a github link for from built by Bell. Currently it is called this is Windows 11. There is a call here for a new name for the application. However, this will not change what the application does. So, here we are. Here we are on his github page and when we scroll further down we can download the latest release it's going to redirect us to the releases page and what we're gonna need is this little zip right here we want to download the zip because it contains every file that we're going to need when we open it, we need to extract it. Let's go. Let's go ahead and minimize this. Preferably, create a new folder. I will do it on the desktop for this particular demonstration video. Extract everything to the new folder, and start the executable. Here it is, when we start it, yes, this is kind of annoying little pop-up. Now, before we head and continue on with the cleanup process, I want you to notice that there are a lot of pre-installed applications here on the start menu they can be seen, however, this this program can uninstall most of it, most of them. Here we have a system, when it is clicked, it will make Windows 11 look like Windows 10. Basically, it's going to move the taskbar to the left. When we click Fix Issues, we're going to install some widgets, enable classic taskbar, make a few changes to our registry it's not gonna look very fancy however it does get the job done system icons on off here we can check which icons we want here it is it make the taskbar a little smaller just like on Windows 10 it's going to do its things. When we click OK, it's going to continue. Now when the process is completed, we can go ahead and explore further this program. It has enabled dark mode, moved the start menu to the left just as it was. Let's check this, what it has actually done we can see it has only done this, made a few changes, changes to the registry. All the applications are here and let's move on to the next tab which is apps. Here are all the pre-installed applications from Microsoft. There are a lot. We don't need people, we don't need sticky notes, office help gaming app 
and by selecting any of these applications the program should remove them for, purpose, for the purpose of this video I'm going to select all click on here on add all and it's going to move them to the recycle bin once they're there you can go ahead and click on empty the recycle bin let's see what will happen here we have many pre-installed applications just for the sake of this video I will go ahead and click recycle bin and see how the application will perform is it going to remove them we will see it in just a minute or two all right some applications are being removed right, right now we can see this on the start menu pinned applications the program is doing its job it's uninstalling so far what we have told it to install which is great in my opinion because it is moving the control back to the user and not on Microsoft here we have the summary the program has done its job 44 apps have been selected for removal and 35 has been removed these applications apparently need to stay because Windows 11 cannot operate without them unfortunately not everything can be removed let's move on to the next tab it is the packages tab and it will allow to install seemingly whatever application you select here this is really awesome and for the purpose of this video I'm going to select a few of them here we have Skype Skype technologies but however it is Win Windows 11 is uh, searching on the internet for this we do not have it installed we can go out here and select it Google Chrome, we already have this let's go ahead and install Audacity, Notepad of Firefox and where is it? Torrent. that's awesome alright, once we have these applications that we want installed we can click run installer and they will be installed on our system when you click to reinstaller, you can continue working while we install. That's great. That's really, really great. All right. After waiting uh, nearly 15 minutes, apparently nothing has happened. So far, I think it is an issue on my end because I've seen this work before. I want to go ahead and review the next step which is automating tasks let's move on to the next uh, step which is to automate some tasks we can choose to install applications reinstall all built-in applications which is uh, which will basically bring the default applications with which uh, default applications with come with Windows 11 uh, they of course can be provisioned and uh, or we can choose to only install recommended applications we can remove OneDrive update the store applications which will be on demand it will basically run a script which will check if there is newer version on the on our application instead of being done automatically by windows we have ultimate performance mode as well which in my opinion is one of the best features ever written it will push your machine to the limit and if you are going for performance it is highly recommended to use it we can disable services which is always a must to do remove telemetry as well I recommend the last three what I recommend you 
is to use the last three options regardless of your uh, installation and preferences because they are a must to bringing back privacy the privacy of you as a user and your machine that was it for this video thank you very much for sticking by and i hope you learned something today i'll see you in the next video goodbye